Today I want to share about the latest information about Japan Travel Ban July 11th, 2022. So let's check it out. What's up guys, this is Dai. How are you guys doing? Let's check it out today's agenda. So this is the agenda of today's video. First, I want to talk about the election result and what means to Japan after this election, which was held yesterday. Second, I want to talk about the Abe's death means a lot to Japan's tourism and also reopening. Third, I want to talk about the seventh wave of COVID cases and also mask in Japan. And last, I want to share my thoughts about planning your trip travel to Japan. So I want to share about this article. This covers all the topics which I want to talk and share to you at this video. So let's check it out and I will read it up. And also I will put this article on the description so you can read it later. So the article said the fresh off sweeping victory in Sunday's upper house election, Prime Minister Kishida will be looking to tick a number of boxes, growing lists of goals, including some that have provided elusive over his first nine months in office. But the Friday's shocking assassination of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe could have a lasting and dramatic impact on the Japan's political world, especially in regards to the country's defense policy. Also, I want to add that Prime Minister Abe had very strong influence toward the tourism industry and also the tourism of Japan. So when he was a prime minister during 2012 until 2020, he made a policy about tourism of Japan, bringing a lot of international tourists to Japan and the number of visitors to Japan was skyrocketing. Also, Mr. Abe is one of the person say that to ease the strict border restriction in this year so that the students, the business person can let in Japan early this year. Also, Mr. Abe have a strong influence in the LDP party and he was one of the hope for the tourism industry and also reopening Japan. But after his death, we lost a big, big hope. So I am concerned about this Mr. Abe's death gonna cause a lot of influence towards the Japan's travel ban, I mean the Japan border restriction, reopening of Japan, and also the future of the tourism industry, especially in the international tourism. Let's go back to the article. And this article say that here's a look at the three key areas to watch in the coming months. This is the middle of the article. Let me read it up. Border controls to stay. With the election out of the way, the hospitality sector is hoping Kishida will fully reopen Japan's border to allow foreign tourists, rather than just open on package tours. Such tours are generally unpopular with Western tourists. But at the present, media reports are focused not on foreign tourists but on when the government will expand our regional travel campaigns, which is likely to be delayed to later half of this month, at least aimed at surging COVID-19 cases across the country. Also, the article said, with the domestic travel campaign kicked off slated to be pushed back, it is unlikely that the borders will be eased for foreign tourists in the immediate future. And recently, the number of the cases is skyrocketing each Japanese media keeps saying, announcing, broadcasting the number of the new cases every day. So Japanese people are starting to get nervous, worrying about the surge of the COVID cases. And this might cause that because the border is open, COVID cases increasing. So close the border and Kishida will listen and closing the border. So this is not a good move. Also, still Japanese people cannot take off their mask despite this hot weather. So number of the people who get hospitalized from the heat wave is more than the people who get hospitalized by COVID-19. This is very ridiculous. So I think this mask wearing etiquette in Japan is causing the issue, the problem of this package tour. Because why Japanese government wants doing this package tour is because they want somebody to take care during your stay in Japan that ask you to keep wearing a mask inside the building, also in the public transportation, and also in the crowded area outside despite this hot weather. And also a lot of Japanese people think that outside of Japan, most of the people don't wear masks. So they are very, Japanese people are very afraid that 
if we let the individual travelers from outside of Japan, a lot of people don't wear the mask and the number of the cases will increase. I think this is the mindset of package towards things. So at the last, I want to share about my opinion, my thoughts about Japan travel ban and I want to give you the advice. Is it the right time to book your hotel, your trip to Japan? So the election is over. After the election last year, Mr. Kishida reopened the border for students and business person. But the Omicron cases start to come up and Japan start to keep closing from last November until now. And this year the election is over again. And a lot of people and also myself thought that is thinking that Japan will reopen the border after this election. But I am very suspicious about Mr. Kishida cannot make a decision for reopening the border because the number of the cases, the COVID cases is skyrocketing. Still, Japan, the COVID is same grade as SARS or Ebola for those serious disease. We don't treat COVID like a flu. And Mr. Kishida said that he is not thinking to recategorize COVID as a flu. So if the number of the cases skyrocket again, Japan might keep closing the border and also the government gonna announce the state of emergency or closing the restaurant at 8 p.m. again and keep asking us stay home wearing a mask. This is not a good move and Japan is keep doing the same thing since 2020. Nothing changed and the politician doesn't change anything about the current rule about treating this COVID. I'm still suspicious about the reopening of Japan this coming August or September, but I don't want to lose the hope. But for my advice to you guys for thinking to traveling to Japan is do not book your flights, hotel, do not plan until it is clear and it is announced by the Japanese government officially that we are reopened. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope Japan will reopen soon and I hope I can see you guys in person soon. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.